Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Mod.js on Hasinger. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in this website where I found a guide that perfectly explained everything about Hasing Mod.js on Hasinger. Get Hasinger VPS Hasing Plan. As I have said, we will use the VBS plan as a housinger to host our Node.js app. So you need to purchase their VBS housing plan. The basic VBS plan starts at $5 per month, which is quite cheap compared to other hosts. So then you need to set up VPS on housinger. Now we got the VPS from housinger. We need to set up. So upon login to your housinger account, you will be asked to set up your VPS. If not asked, go to the VPS sec section and click on set up VPS and follow the below steps to set up VPS on Hasinger. First, it will ask you to select the location of your VPS. Choose the nearest server location on your audience. Now it will ask you to choose what type of UI you want for your VPS. There will be three options as you can look from below image. As you can see guys right here, you need to choose plain OS. Now it will ask you to choose the OS you want to install on your VPS. Click I want to choose on different a different operating system and it will display multiple OS with different version. Select the latest Ubuntu 20.04 64-bit OS in the future, it might change. Now it will ask you to enter your VPS name, a root password, and a SSH key. Password and SSH are ways for you, uh, for you to log in to your VPS to make sure to enter a strong password. And remember, it's at, as we will require later for login into our server. Also, you can use a SSH for login. And to know more about it, refer to this tutorial. As you can see, guys, right here. After this, your VPS setup will be completed. If you check in your Hasinger panel, it will show VPS running. You will get a dedicated IP address for your server, which you can use to access your site. So, or you can connect a custom domain to it refer to this tutorial. So we have completed our VPS setup. Now we need to SSH into our VPS. Install and run Node.js on VPS. Go to Puri website and download the Putty software. It will allow you to log in into server. After installing Putty, open it and enter the IP address of your VPS in the Putty house name column and click open. Now you should have access to your server. Now you can write commands which will get executed on your server. So first run the below command. It will update your apt repository as you can see guys right here. Next run this, it will install git. Now we will install Node.js. So execute all the below command line by line. As you can see guys right here, you can pause the video and copy the commands right here. Use below command to check if not and npm are installed. If installed it, it will display the versions. Now let's create a new directory for our Node.js project and import it from GitHub. To do that, use the below commands. This command will make a new directory. It changed the working directory to the directory we created. This one will get our Node.js code from GitHub to our server inside the apps or demo folder. Above command will install all the Node modules for the project. Now to run our Node.js app, we need to install a library called VM2. It is like Nodemon in Node.js, so install it by using above command. Now, run the above command to sort your Node.js app on the ports specified in your server file. 
you can view your Node.js app at your IP address port in the browser. So this is guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.